Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Today we're starting the Love Notions Canyon Cardigan Sew Along. This is a sew along that I'm hosting for backstitch back, uh, in the backstitch backroom for backstitch fabrics. So everything that you see during the sew along fabric wise is coming from backstitch. I'll leave everything in the description of the video below. All the links to the everything that I'm using as always and um, if there's a Facebook group to the Facebook group as well that's where usually you'll find the updates for rounds or new stockings and um, retail as well so I am super excited to share with you one of my favorite cardigan patterns out there right now I've made quite a few of them the Love Notion card the um, Canyon cardigan has released quite a few years ago I was part of the testing team I want to say maybe five years ago uh, but it is such a good pattern. I, I love it and it, it takes the whole simple cardigan up, up a notch or two or three. There is a few options included. There is a standard simpler option which I've made actually a week ago. Maybe I'll put a picture in here in the video so you can see like the simple option. Uh, there's a waterfall option that I've made I think during text testing and I've made a few times afterwards and there's also a gathered uh, bottom bodice option which is what I think I'm going to do this so along just because I have not done that one yet but either way these options are amazing there's like a vest option there's an option for three quarter sleeve long sleeves I personally love, love a long sleeve cardigan because uh, the sleeves come up to here and I can just roll them up if I need to and or cozy with them so yeah that's my preferred sleeve length for cardigan which is what i'm going to do during this sew along as always if I, if i don't cover the option you choose to sew along with me uh if you have any questions just leave them in the comment below here in the video on, on youtube or you can do them uh, ask your questions in the backstage backroom group tag me if i don't answer i do have a million notifications daily so if I don't answer, just tag me and I'll be, I'll be there to, to help you with your issues or your, your questions. Without further ado, let's get into today's steps, which is uh, cutting the fabric and prepping everything to start sewing tomorrow. As I was saying, for today's sew along and for this week's sew along, I'm going to be using the backstitch bamboo, which is actually what I'm wearing right now. Remember, we've done the sew along for this a few months back for uh, the Sinclair Violet dress this is the one i made during the sew along and so i'm going to be using the same gorgeous gorgeous bamboo spandex from uh, backstitch this is part of the 11th hour um, round that opens very soon again check with the facebook group because all the updates will be there this is a round inspired by the also popular stranger things um, series on netflix which i love i'm a big fan so and there's a plethora of prints included in the round some of which are these gorgeous gorgeous quotes so if you're a fan of the show you'll recognize these beautiful quotes fun and uh, whimsy <laughs> quotes so I, I will be using it, this probably for the bottom part of the cardigan and then for the main I think I'll be using this um, 80s music cassette tapes Again, if you're a fan of the show, you know uh, 80s music gets a lot of representation there in, uh, in the series. But, I don't know if you've seen this. I do work with some creative geniuses. So, let me show you a little trick. I have my phone here. I have my Spotify app opened on my phone and look at this trick and this is applicable to all bases this is bamboo but the same neat trick that i'm about to show you will work on all bases including woven cotton like raw vinyl water resistant camera so anything you get from this round that has the uh, cassette coordinate print will have this nice feature added to it so when you open your uh, spotify app if you go to search just like you were to go to search for a song and you press on camera it opens a camera to scan a barcode now take your phone to the fabric and scan it and look at that i've scanned this cassette which is um actually 
oh this one which is actually one of my favorite Metallica songs I used to be a Metallica lover back in the when I was like in late elementary school then uh, this is Master of Puppets and see I scanned the barcode here you have barcode on the tapes you see down here you scan that and it will take you right to the Shopify song you want to see this again let me do it from this side so you can see my phone better okay so you go to to not Shopify did I say Shopify Spotify I meant Spotify so you go to Spotify and then you click on the camera so it shows the uh, camera to scan the barcode and now where is it uh, hold on because I was, I'm not sure what I was pointing at there you go see look it took you right there isn't this cool like just when you thought just when you thought <laughs> I wasn't even pointing and it was pointing my camera to this let me point it up so it doesn't scan anything else just when you thought things were not getting any cooler at backstage there we go here we go Sonia comes and surprises you with a cool feature of your fabric where you can just scan the music of your dress and it will bring you to a song how cool is that I love it I love it this is this was a genius idea when we first first heard it in our admin group we were like this is insane and here we go brought to fruition but anyways I wanted to show you this on a video we'll get back to the to the sew along in just a second so for today's steps I'm going to be cutting the fabric the pattern comes with a projector file so I'll be dimming off the light as I usually do and then project my uh, size on my cutting table and we'll get to cutting see you back here in a second all right we are back the lights are dimmed I've opened the projector file the pattern does come with an letter format and an A0 so you can definitely print and tape your pieces together if you don't have a projector or you simply just don't want to use one there are definitely options but I love my projector so this is my preferred method of cutting the patterns I've opened the projector file I'm going to start as always with the largest pieces which is the bottom skirt so since I'm doing view B which is the gathered option I'm going to cut the skirt uh, two mirror images if you're doing view C you're going to, to be doing the same thing that's the um, uh, one with the pleat in the back and it has uh, the waterfall look to it if you're doing the simple version view A you're going to cut one on fold and it's a different pattern piece than the one I'm using right now and that one I believe will, will uh, be uh, enough to cut one fold from the width of fabric because uh, the gathered one is obviously larger it's not enough to cut on fold from the width of fabric so you have to cut two mirror images as the pattern instructs if since I'm using a non-directional fabric I actually went ahead and folded my fabric right sides together lengthwise, lengthwise. so this is the width of fabric I folded it like this not like this not across not along the grain but the other way because it's a non-directional fabric if you're using directional fabric you cannot do this because one of the sides will be upside down only if it's non-directional I'm using the quotes which are non-directional so that will work and I'm going to start cutting from one end and putting all my markings if you need to grade this pattern for your height there is uh, grading lines for uh, shortening or lengthening so again one of my favorite things about love notion patterns are these grading markings makes it easier for everyone to grade the patterns per their size or height don't forget to put all your notches these are the notches that we'll be using to add the pockets this pattern has some very cute pockets 
And we're also going to use these notches as a guide when we move the projector because my projection area is about 24 inches, so it's not enough to cut the whole thing at once, but that's easy. We're just gonna move everything a little bit. And I'm going to match my notches right here. And I'm going to match what I cut right here. There you go. And I'm barely making it. So a yard may not be enough. This is size 3XL. So I'm barely making it here. If, uh, if you want to be comfortable, make sure that you use bigger, a bigger piece than a yard. This is the part that's uh, going to be sewn together that is um, cut on fold for view A or cut two meter images for view B and C. Let's see here is what I needed a quarter of an inch, but I eh, well we'll make it work. It's not a big deal. There's plenty of seam allowance in the hem, plenty of hem allowance to accommodate for my missing quarter, less than a quarter of an inch. I just was really keen on having this fabric as, a, as the bottom part of the cardigan and I only had one yard. So again, we make it work here on my channel. This is not a channel for all you perfectionists out there. This is the make it work channel. Okay, so the skirt is done. And I think I'm going to cut the pockets out of this scrap. Just make sure you put your grain correctly. Okay, so it's like this. And let's find the pockets. There. Oh, the pattern does have an elbow patch that I won't be adding because I'm not a huge fan of elbow patches. But if you are, the option is included. So we need to cut two pairs. So four uh, pockets, mirror images. That's why I'm cutting with the fabric right sides together. So I get one pocket and there are two meter uh, fabric cuts. And then I'm getting another one. On this side. You won't see the pockets. They're, they'll be inside in the front. But I figured since I have this scrap, I might as well just use this one. All right, so we have the skirt part cut, the pockets. Now we need to cut the bodies of our cardigans. And one of my favorite things about these bodies is that the back, it is not cut on fold. The back has a seam in the back because it tapers. You see, it starts here and ends here. It's a little bit like this, tapers a little bit to make it flush nicely with your back instead of having that extra fabric in the uh, on your like the bottom of your back oh, I love this pattern it fits so nicely so this will need to cut two mirror images for the front two mirror images for the back two sleeves and then the neckband and I think this is this is not a difficult pattern this is a sew along that is definitely um, beginner friendly. And see, I'm placing my fabric on fold, right sides together. This way I'm going to automatically cut two mirror images and make one single cut. And you can get 
the bodices from one um, area like this. Let's start with the front. Don't forget to add your notches. We'll need those notches when we add the pockets. All the remaining pieces right now will fit in the um, width of the fabric. The only one that wasn't fitting was the skirt for view B and C. Don't forget the notches. If you're doing the vest, you'll be cutting up to here and then following this inner line. If you're doing the sleeve option, you'll stop at the lower point here and then go to the outer line. So the front is cut. Now let's do the back. Again, two meter images. And be careful when you cut the sleeves because there's two different cut lines for a sleeveless vest style or um, with sleeves, which is what I'm doing. Okay. So the back is cut. Put that aside. Now we need the sleeves and then the um, neckband. Again, I'll keep my fabric on fold just like this to cut the sleeves. Bring the sleeves. There you go. And I'm going to be doing the long sleeve. There's a three quarter sleeve length option as well. And since I've changed my viewing like this, I need to change my fabric as well. So make sure that you follow the grain line. See, grain line, selvage, Follow those all the time. And I'm trying to waste as little fabric as possible. If you're doing the elbow patch, you don't cut this out, okay? Do not cut this out. You'll be drawing it as, or putting some pins as marking for where your elbow patch is. This, that is just a placement marking. You do not cut that out. And again, adding my notches and where the sleeve is meets the shoulder seam. Okay, so sleeve is cut. Well, sleeves are cut, because I did both at the same time. Last but not least, we need to cut the uh, neck band. Come on, neck band. View C. View C has a different neck band. We're doing view A and B. So I'm going to once again change. There you go. And we need to cut two on fold from a view A and B neckband. If you're doing the, yeah, this is not enough. If you're doing the uh, sleeveless, so the vest style, make sure that you cut um, the binding for the sleeves as well. So that's two extra pieces. Okay, so this is the one. Again, I'm trying to waste as little fabric as possible. So I can bring the fold here.
Okay, this is the grain. Perfect. And we need two of these. And we are done cutting. So next, you're going to want to snap a photo of your pretty pile of fabric cut and post it in the day one photo. Um, the album for this sew along is in the Backstage Backroom group on Facebook. So be sure to join if you want to join and sew with us for a chance to win some nice prizes. Snap a photo of your completed cut fabric, post it in the day one photo comments. That will be your check-in for today. And I'll see you back here tomorrow when we start sewing our um, canyon cardigans. Talk to you soon. Bye.